and welcome to my reaction to Dun Da Dun episode 3. It's called Granny vs. Granny Clash. I am wearing a One Piece shirt for two reasons. Number one, I don't have a Dun Da Dun shirt yet. And the two, recently, on what was it on Sunday, we found out that we won't have another One Piece episode for six months. So I won't get to wear this for a while in a One Piece video. So I wanted to wear it today. Oh, and just to let you know a little update for the channel I've been thinking about reading ahead in the One Piece manga for months now but I was always holding back because you know people want anime only reactions but now it's like I have no choice I have to read ahead and then I can catch up and then I can make theories with everyone but yeah there's no specific date for when I'm gonna start reading ahead but it will come soon I'm just letting you know in advance Okay, but for today we have more done, da dun da dun dun dun. dun. <laughs> uh, thank you for joining me for my reactions today. Big thank you to my patrons and Kofi members and Twitch subs and uh, and patrons, Kofi members, YouTube members. Just to everyone who supports my content, thank you so much. I really really appreciate it, and I hope to see some of you in the Twitch streams this weekend. It's gonna be fun. Lots of reactions, lots of games. A movie reaction on Sunday sponsored by Antonio so yeah please join me if you have time over the weekend but without further ado it's dun da dun time let's go flamboyantly wrong She opened the door while he was drying, dr driving. That is one hell of an outfit. I love that part. I めちゃくちゃ like this, this barrier, this. Oh. 
ごめんなさい。うちが間違ってました。悪霊を通したの。ブクルト。ブクルト。ファクアウトボイスアクティング。違う。ターボババアに男取られたけど、この人のうちにも責任あるし、なんとかしてあげたいって思ってるだけ。聞けか。言ってねえわ。それでさ、うち超能力使える
Where does his parents think he is, by the way? That's part I remember, I think. Oh. Not yet, not yet. But I think, I think that is like her true power, but it's like your brain capabilities. Isn't there like some science that says we only use like 5% of our brain capabilities or something? Maybe she in that moment when it was unlocked, but then she limits herself. For what reason? I'm not sure. Maybe because of self-belief or shock or... That is such cute pajamas, I love them. Takakura-ken. last time I forgot to look it up. So this time I'm looking it up right now while I still remember. Ken Takakura born Goichi Oda was a Japanese actor and singer who appeared in over 200 films. Affectionately referred to as Ken-san by audiences, he was best known for his brooding style and stoic presence he brought to his roles. Mm. I'm a little bit worried to... I, I don't want to see... Maybe I should try and watch a, a movie where he acts. What is his most famous movie? If I go to IMDb... I can check known for Black Rain from 1989, Railroad Man from 1999, 
under the yellow handkerchief 1977 hakko dasan from 1977 the most highest scored one is the yellow handkerchief um from 1977 but for some reason this hakko dasan stands out to me so maybe in the future i can watch one of these movies Three complete strangers embark on a road trip to Hokkaido. Oh, that sounds like a nice story. And this one is... Two infantry regiments of the Imperial Japanese Army tackled Mount Hakoda, Hakoda in the winter of 1902 to prepare for war with Russia. Well, this one seems more, more like up my alley as, a, as an introduction. Maybe I'll try and see that. Mm. I would assume it was like the adrenaline rushes was opened her mind and made her able to use like the full extent of her power the same way that they say that you know a mother can like pick up a car off her child if she needs to you know the adrenaline rush but then later it catches up with your body and you can't always access that power but it means that that's your full potential so you can work your way and train to get closer, closer to that max, you know? <laughs> it sounded like that. I can't skip this ending, but I think it's gonna get blocked on Daily Motion. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Pause, pause. He said, Oi, time to. to, 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 to raise. Uh, Yu Gi Oh! sound effects. <laughs> First, Momo Anna Hinata taken away from me in the same day. Bakugo, my wish was claimed too, but I made an offer he couldn't refuse. <laughs> You, you should wear woo. That's a wee. I just want to see her outfit again. It's so oshare. I love the this high socks. <laughs> Preview. Oh, exciting! I don't remember anything past this point! I can't wait! No, a whole other week! I guess this was, um... This was like an exposition type of episode. 
Uh, I, I'm glad that we got to meet her grandmother and uh, yeah, we got to theorize a little bit about the world and the powers or something. Like they may or may not be have rules set in this world. We don't know yet the extent to or how this world's powers work and stuff. Um, but I like to theorize about stuff like that, even if it's not important now, because I remember in a certain anime where some character had a fiery foot and I was like, whoa, that looks cool. I wonder if it's like a power that he has that's based on something or maybe it's just like, and then people told me, no, 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 you, there's no point in theorizing about it. It's just like a visual effect. It's just like a symbolic fire. And I'm like, excuse me. But then later you find out that might not be the case. So like, just let me people make their theories, whether or not it means something later. But to be fair, at this point, well, I don't know. When I made that theory back then, I don't know if people knew or not. And they just wrote it off. And then that's why they told me to write it off. But you should never write something off. Because I think a good author is always, can always, even if they didn't plan to, to, make, to give something meaning initially, they can always go back. Like, I, I read a manga called uh, Bakuman. And it was about... The premise is about two, like a, a writer and an artist, like they join together to make manga. They want to become a, man, a famous mangaka. Um, and I won't spoil the story, but that's, that's the basic premise. Um, but, well, once again, spoiler alert, I guess this, this is going to spoil the story, kind of, because it's something that happens much later. So when I put this down on the table, and it's, then I'm not spoiling. If I have it in my hand... I'm spoiling. I'm talking about Bakuman, okay? Sorry, I can't help but compare or bring up other shows that I've watched when I'm talking about things, okay? So, in Bakuman... Don't forget to mute me until I put this down. In Bakuman, um, later... So, the basic premise is the two boys that want to become a mangaka, a famous mangaka, so that... Well, they each have their own reasons, right? So then, later... He remembers something his uncle taught him. Uh, if they have like a writer's block or something, they should go back through their old work and like find something, any episode or something happened and then they can bring it back. Like, like, so then it looks like they've always planned it, but because it was, look, oh, it was foreshadowed here. But they just like, they just for inspiration went back and, and saw something that could be, still be used and they, they brought it back like that. I don't know how to explain this, but to me that seems like a very good strategy. And I think that any author could use uh, a technique like that. So even if you feel like, if we're, even if we're theorizing about powers and stuff, even if you feel like maybe this doesn't mean anything, maybe you shouldn't overthink it, it's fine for you to feel that way. But if someone else is having fun theorizing, I don't think it's, like, just let them have fun, even if you think it's bullshit, or no, that couldn't be. But um, it's a different, it's a different, if you're coming from the perspective, whereas, oh, I'm also theorizing, and I disagree with you for these reasons, but I think this and that, then it's a discussion. But I don't think it's that nice to shut people's theories down entirely. Just let them have fun, you know? Anyway, I'm very excited, because it feels like next episode is going to be so exciting, and I'm extra, because... I'm extra looking forward to it because, like I said, I don't remember what happens. Like I said, I read four chapters, but <laughs> I don't remember what happens in, like, the race. I, no, I think this is about as much. I remember the pee scene, and that's it. So from here on out, I'm pretty much anime only. So I'm just, I can't wait to see what happens. Like, how does the race end? Do they win? Do they need to win? Is he going to keep, are they going to make an agreement? Is Turbo Baba gonna have a sad backstory? What's gonna go down, you know? Okay, episode three. I think it was a good exposition episode. I think it was a good introduction to her grandmother um, as a character. So I would go with an all around nine. Like, just nine out of ten. I don't wanna. I don't feel like the need to delve into it. Like I said, oh, although 
what would be interesting, not talking about the score, because I, like I said, I don't really want to delve into it. It was, it was a fun episode and I like to meet the grandmother and I like to see their dynamic. Um, and that what I really appreciated was the voice acting and how the voice acting feels very natural. Uh, and that the, that the Gyaru moment, like I love how she's so self-aware about her Gyaru style. I don't know if that's all Gyaru, but I, I haven't... The only Gyaru show that I've really seen was My Girlfriend is a, is a Gal. And I think that is maybe not the best representation. I don't know. Um, but the one thing that I'm very curious about is this... The actor that she said, your favorite food is curry. You have a wife and a child. And he's like, no, no, no. But then it was exposed and it was on the news everywhere. Where is that? But I don't know why, but that scene felt to me like, who is this guy? This is not going to be the last we see of him. I wonder. Because I think it was something that she said. Like, she doesn't care about something like that or she doesn't have time for something like that. That made me feel like his age wasn't 20, but actually 27. So he's everywhere on the news. I couldn't care less about that news. That's the kind of thing that makes me feel like, like she brushes it off, but maybe it, it'll come back. I hope so. That'll be so cool. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can in the future. Might not be anytime soon, but I'd love to watch the yellow handkerchief. Handkerchief. It seems like a nice movie. Ken Takakura plays Yusaku Shima. So yeah, that just looks, sounds like an overall, a road trip movie can only be fun. So thank you guys for watching my reaction. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And as a bonus, you know, if you're a One Piece fan and whether or not now that we're having a, a six month break from the anime, who which of you who hasn't read the manga before is considering to read it now, like me? Okay, see you next time. Bye.